This morning we're going to cover how to disable and enable an index. And the, con the syntax for altering, or I'm sorry, disabling the index is to alter index. In this case, we're using the table, um, the index ix underscore one on table drop columns. And then we'll say disable. If we want to enable it, we will do rebuild. Now, one misconception about altering the index or disabling or enabling the index, there are a few developers out there who will think that they can use this for testing. So for instance, if we're gonna include the actual execution plan to see if our index is used, or to see how our index is used, we can note, hey, it's a clustered index seek. So some people will think, oh, well, when testing, I'll disable the index. And then I will test it, and you will see that the query processor is unable to produce a plan because ix1 on the table or view drop columns is disabled. So when you're testing the effectiveness of a column, actually what you would do is you would drop the index 1. Of course, you don't do this ever, ever, ever in production environments, but I assume that's fairly well known. But in testing environments, you'll drop the index this is also what you'll do when you're doing an ETL process and you're trying to import data. You always want to remove the indexes because it's a lot faster. There might be exceptions to that rule, like only one value is being added. Okay, well then don't drop the indexes. But if we're talking about a heavy process, um, then yes, go ahead. So you basically will see we have a table scan here. So we remove the index and then we can go back and then create the index um, on the table. And so, in fact, if you look at usually, like I said, a higher environments, um, you'll see them doing this a lot. They'll drop the indexes, import a bunch of data, and then rebuild the indexes or recreate the indexes. And it does go faster. It does, of course, depend on how much data you're importing. Um, let's do this. Okay, execution plans on, and then we can go back to our query. So for disabling an index, alter index, index name on the table name, disable, um, to turn it back on, rebuild, that's the syntax. And then of course, um, if you're looking for testing whether uh, how your index, I should say, is being used, you uh, definitely go back and forth between uh, drop index, create clustered index, or create non-clustered index. And uh, for ETL processes, remove your indexes and, uh, and then rebuild them.